Hi, I'm Tasman Opley, cosmetic chemist and trainer here at the Institute of Personal Care Science. And today I'm gonna to show you how to make a body firming lotion. Now let me show you how easy it is to put together. Okay, so I've got my phases here. First of all, I'm starting with my water phase. And then I've got to build my lotion, I'm gonna be slurring some xanthan gum in some propane deal. Now I'm just using the Videscent Xanthan here by BASF. Now you want to make sure that's a nice smooth slurry before adding that into your water phase or you will get what we call fish eyes, which are these big blobs of uh, unhydrated gum and they're quite hard to get out so we do recommend that you do start again. Now once you've got a nice smooth slurry we're going to add that to our water phase. Give that a good stare. Okay, and you can see that's gelled up quite nicely. So we're just gonna pop that one on heat. Okay, and while that's heating up, I'm gonna put together my oil phase. So here in my bowl, I have some Olive M1000. This is a really good natural non-ionic uh, emulsifier. This is gonna give our lotion stability and also some viscosity. Now to this, I'm gonna be adding some Dermafil Scent Salt. This is a light feeling and long spreading ester. This is a really good uh, natural alternative to a silicon. Now you do want to have a good balance of some long, uh, medium, and a, a little bit of heavy uh, feeling and spreading lipids. We do want to get the right skin feel, but we also want it to have enough spread because it's a body lotion. So we've got a large area or volume of skin to cover. I'm also going to be adding some Corotamol GTCC, which is some caprylic capric triglycerides. This is a medium skin feel and also medium spreading. And just a small input here of some pumpkin seed oil. And we're just going to pop that one on heat also. Okay, so once your oil phase is nice, melted and homogenous, we're gonna add it to our water phase. And just give that a good stir and you'll see a nice white glossy emulsion is starting to form. And we're just gonna remove that one from the heat. And we're just gonna allow that one to sit there and cool for a while. Okay, so once your emulsion has cooled, we are going to add our heat sensitive materials. So the first one I'm gonna go in with is a fragrance. I've just got one from off the shelf here. You're welcome to use what you like or an essential oil. Now I'm using a couple of extracts here. I've got some coffee extract here. This is quite well known for firming and toning. I've also got some green tea extract here, which is has good antioxidant properties. I've got some tocophero as my ex antioxidant. I've got my preservative, I'm just using the Yuxal PE9010. And now for my Star Active here, I'm gonna be using the Suba Lift by Ashland. This is my body firming active. Now Suba Lift is a cross-link polymer and its main function is to seal off the tissue against loss of water, nutrients and minerals. So by doing that, it also contributes to strengthen and protect the plant cells of the body. Now it's got some good film forming properties and it's also got some good binding capacities as well. Now its mode of action is it's got instant smoothing and tightening effect um, of the skin. So in the clinical studies, which you can see here, there were 15 healthy volunteers aged between 22 and 52 and they applied a gel of 3% Superlift in it and they applied it to uh, their forearm. Um, so the application time was one and two hours. So you can see here the results. So from one hour of the Superleaf application, you can see there was a 73.3% reduction of roughness. And after two hours, it increased to 78.6 uh, with reduction in roughness. Now you can see some before and after photos here after the one and two hour application of how the, the skin is smoothing quite instantly and quite quickly. So it's a pretty fast acting active. You can see some more clinical um, tensor effect here of some 2D representations of some silicon replicas. So you can see the replica and then also the version with the sub lift as well. So some pretty good fast results there. Okay. 
Okay, and last but not least, we're just gonna check and adjust our pH. And we're just gonna cover and leave this over now at night. Uh, full viscosity is going to be achieved the next day. This will thicken up quite a bit. And we do need to look for signs of instability. Okay, and here is what our body firming lotion is looking like the next day. As you can see, that's thickened up quite a bit. It's a nice, beautiful lotion viscosity. It's nice and stable as well. And it's very long spreading as well. So that little bit there is covering quite a large volume of my arm. It's got really good spreading, really good slip. It's not heavy, it's not greasy, it's nice and emollient and it's non-sticky as well. Well, there you go. That's how easy it is to make a body firming lotion. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave any questions in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to receive notification on the rest of our videos. Happy formulating.